Okay, I'm recording this video to show you uh, how can you use goal seek in Excel uh, to solve a quadratic equation. So what I have done so far, I have I put the beginning value for x as minus one, and for y I jot down this equation f3 to the power of two minus three times f3 plus one. If you are lazy, you can just simply copy it from here where I have the equation and paste it somewhere here. So to use goal seek, first you need to know where the goal seek is. You go to data, then you go to what if analysis. And then there you go, that's the goal seek. So goal seek asks me, set the cell. Okay, what cell you want to put to what value? So I want to put the cell of G3, which is right now is five. I want to make that zero, right? So put the Y equal to zero, then by changing what cell? By changing the X cell, right? So I want to find, again, I want to go to a philosophy of this. This equation wants to be zero. So the whole y wants to wants to be go to zero. So g3 wants to go to zero by changing f3. So you just click on it and then select f3 like this. And then you're again I, I double select it. So I just go one more time. Select it. Done. So if I press OK, this is gonna give me the root. There you go. The first root is actually again it's found the solution congratulations but again the problem with goal seek is going to find only one root it's not going to find all the roots for you so the first root that we found is actually minus 3.81 and uh, so minus 3.8 but what we found visually from the graph we found 0 0.4 which is very close from what we found from the graph and what we found from um, the goal seek 